Oh, okay, okay. It's not too bad. Hopefully this is recording very well because I don't want to end up having to do this video over again. Like I would be colossally, not colossally, colossal, colossal, is it colossal? Anyways, so I quit my job at Datadog. I feel like I had to do this video even though I didn't really want to, but I kind of felt like some people got the wrong impression from my LinkedIn post and maybe my Twitter post. And I feel like that's one of the disadvantages of being in the public eye, people kind of make assumptions of things, which is kind of understandable. But I didn't realize that my posts are like that popular and are also very easily interpreted in different kind of ways. So I should have probably been more careful about how I posted. So now I, <laughs> maybe not how I posted, but more so what I posted and how I worded it. But I don't think I was anything suggestive of being laid off. So for context, I wasn't laid off. I left my role at Datadog and I left in good faith to pursue another role. It's kind of weird that I have to say that. <sighs> yeah, I guess just because most of my career and most of my, my roles and my experiences have kind of been public, it makes sense that, you know, different people can interpret the post in different ways. But I guess that makes sense. I feel like for the one, for the first time, I didn't really announce that I was going to somewhere else or where I was going next, which, yeah, which is kind of weird. Cause I felt like this time I didn't really want to let anyone know where I was going. Well, I didn't let my previous employer know where I was going. I didn't let anyone of my previous employer know where I was going. So it kind of felt weird. I don't know, because I'm not not like I'm trying to hide it, but I just wanted to have the privacy of not having to tell anybody where what I'm doing next. So yeah, by the way, this is obviously not my normal setup. Probably sounds echoey. I literally just moved to a new place. So I sold my previous mic because I want to get a better mic. And then over there, you can see my other mic. I literally am working for my dining table and my new job. I'm currently setting up my new office slash studio. So that should hopefully be ready in like in the next couple of days or weeks, depending on when all my Amazon packages get here. But for now, I'm just going to have to use this. But to the topic of today, I quit my role. I did a dog as a detection engineer, security engineer, cloud detection engineer, basically all the same thing. I was working at Datadog. Well, I had worked at Datadog for almost two years, which is the longest I've been at a company in my pretty young career. So like I said, I left in good faith. Datadog is a great company, amazing company, definitely a place that I would love to work at. Again, great work experience, like the things we were doing, like research, the technologies, the people, the benefits, the compensation, all really, really good. Like Datadog is truly a great company to work at. If you ever have the opportunity to work at their dog, I 100% recommend working at their dog. Like it's a really great company. You will grow a lot, you learn a lot, and you will get to experience a bunch of really cool technology. So definitely, definitely, if you have the opportunity, definitely do it. I left their dog in December 2023, which is this month, because I wanted to pursue something else, a new role, essentially. It's kind of crazy how this new role happened, and I'll probably give more insights like later on, but it literally was a whole like 30 day process like from the day the recruiter reached out to me to the day i got my offer was basically 30 days which is like the fastest i've ever been through an interview process which is kind of crazy but especially for the role like i wasn't particularly preparing for an interview preparing for a new role but it came and i was like i gotta do this uh, yeah i'll probably announce what the role is later on but i guess we'll see about that but yeah the reason why i left it a dog it's like oh well it's kind of weird saying that because i don't really I guess I have to, I feel obligated to just because, you know, all of my professional career has been like in the public eye. So I guess I do owe you guys this. But basically, the reason why I did it though was because I wanted to pursue something different. And also, the opportunity that came was just like, I, I couldn't say no to it. So I wanted to pursue a new area of cybersecurity, which is uh, response engineering, response operations, incident response engineering, incident response operations. And um, I feel like I had a really good amount of experience, like, doing almost two years of detection engineering was like really good experience for me. And I feel like I wanted to do the other side of that. Um, like, what does it look like after this, the detection, right? From, you know, from initial analysis and detection all the way to lesson learned. So how do you do containment? How do you do eradication? And this opportunity was definitely going to give me a, a wide, a ridiculously broad amount of experience in that aspect. And I just couldn't say no to it. So that was really the main reason. I feel like I'm still very early in my career. I know what I want for my career. And I know that in order to do that, I have to like explore different things that could give me that skill set. And at this point in my career, 
that's really what I want to focus on, response engineer. And there's some other augmentary skill sets that come with that or are required for that that I need to build. And I feel like this role is going to help me build that to get that holistic, like, holistic experience, right? Like I want to be a holistic security engineer in terms of like security operations. So like detection and response. Like I don't want to just be like good at detection. I want to be good at detection and also response. And I think this is going to help me uh, really hone into that. That's like basically the the main reason, to be honest. Overall, like I had a really great experience at Deerdog. Deerdog is like really great for growth, learning, development. What else? What else? On my time with Deerdog, I really grew. I really grew. I got the opportunity to like touch a lot of technologies. I learned a lot about product, right? I, I've not really done anything product wise. So like I learned how to like interact in terms of like business and product, you know, actually like driving the growth of a product, a security product in this case, learn various terminologies, like go to market, like different things. But yeah, I love the fact that I got that product experience because I, I feel like I can, I would do very well in any other security role that has to do with a security product, which I think is pretty valuable. I didn't even, I didn't even realize that until like after I left. So really good experience. Cloud, I learned a ton about cloud while I was there and DevOps while I was there, like just ridiculous. Like yeah, cloud security, DevOps, DevSecOps, Linux. Yeah, I learned a ton. Engineering, yeah. Doing engineering at the scale that Datadog does it really builds character. <laughs> but you learn a lot in terms of like, one of the biggest things that I, I know I, I learned was what it takes to be an engineer. I think I've highlighted that in previous videos. So that was like one of the biggest things. It really helped me grow as an engineer, especially having that experience earlier in my career. I think it was very valuable. I also think the people as well, like I had a really great team. I always say like I worked with the coolest director ever, Zach Allen. I've had him on the channel once. So definitely watch this video, really insightful. But yeah, Zach's like the coolest director ever. I worked with Jimmy, who was my first manager before um, Anthony became my manager, but like Jimmy's like so cool. I probably have him. I, I mean, I have his video, I have his podcast episode. I've just not released it yet. I'll release that soon. He had a lot of great insights there. And then I worked with my most recent manager, Anthony. Like Anthony really like pushed me like to grow into like a better security engineer. I had a really good experience working with Anthony. And then my coworkers as well. Well, my direct coworkers, I had a great experience working with my direct coworkers, like really great experience, like incredibly smart people, very driven, you know, very much involved in the work we were doing. And, you know, you learn a lot from people like that around you. So that was incredibly valuable. I got to travel a lot. I went to New York. I went to Boston. I went to Vegas. I went to Paris. I went to London. I went to various, various places. If there's anything I would miss, I would definitely miss the travel. Like getting to travel, you know, getting miles for that <laughs> was cool, but just beyond the miles, right? You know, actually getting to go speak at conferences. I went to California for the first time this year to go speak at Forward Cloud Sec. And I feel like the, one of the reasons why I could do that was because of, you know, what I worked on at Datadog that actually empowered me to do that. And Datadog really supports your brand. So if you want to do talks, you want to post blogs, your research, Datadog will like support your brand as a security professional, which was very, very, very good. Like I got to release a bunch of publications. All of them you can find in my LinkedIn profile. I got to also do talks, you know, go to conferences, speak to customers. I got to do some really, 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 really cool things. And honestly, just invaluable. So I'll, I'll definitely miss that uh, for sure. Those were very, very valuable things that I got out of that experience. Definitely wouldn't trade that for anything. So that was that about Datadog. Well, I'm in a new phase in life right now. I think I'm in a new phase where I need to be uncomfortable again. I have a lot of like, I've had a lot of re really recent life changes this year. And I feel like, you know, going into the new year, especially like starting a new role at the end of the year, moving into my new place. Also just having a bunch of really recent life changes. I feel like a new year is like a really good time to like, push myself again this year was incredibly ridiculous i don't know like how i was able to do everything i did this year like i i can't even begin to like list the things i was able to achieve this year so like it's crazy but i do feel like i can still push myself more i can i can be more uncomfortable i have 
a lot more in me that I'm still not tapping into. And I really need to be uncomfortable, which is kind of why I went into a response role. I'm still very young. I'm still 21. So I feel like I have the capacity to like deal with like being on call, dealing with like putting out fires. But you get a ridiculous amount of experience from that, like a lot of experience from that. And I'm really to do that for the foreseeable future, to build that experience, learn how those things work and just really lean into that and, you know, push myself beyond like, you know, what's comfortable like because you think about it like why would you leave a role that's like of course fairly challenging like did a dog but not i was never on call i don't think i would have ever been on call <laughs> to going into a role where you know that would be the case like people would be like you're crazy i think that's probably why i didn't really want anyone to know what i was going to do next because people would probably look at me like this is insane like why would you leave like this really great job for that but like i feel like i know i'm not i feel like i know i'm making the right decision and you know, I, I feel it, it's intu intuition, I think, and I don't think I'm going to regret it. So this is the phase of life I'm in right now. And as you, you've seen in my recent videos, my recent technical videos have been a lot more instant response. I really want to hone in on that skill set. I really see myself thriving in, in this new role. Like I, I've only been here, you know, just about two weeks and starting to, you know, actually assimilate in and, you know, improve processes here and there. Okay, so this is definitely not my best angle, but I literally had to come in here to continue this video because, well surrounding noise and i'm trying to give you guys the best well I'm trying to give you guys the best best quality ever this is literally the most quiet place the quietest place the most quiet place in the house i'm gonna do that finish up the video here but like i was saying i'm starting to assimilate sorry if i'm too close to the mic i'm starting to assimilate and everything so i really see myself growing here hopefully you can't really hear the noise downstairs so sorry about that i'm uh, starting to assimilate here and everything so Definitely looking forward to it. It's also a security engineering role, but more so on the response side of things. Dang, this is not really my best angle, but you get the idea. I'll be announcing it in the near future. I don't know when exactly, but I'll be announcing it sometime in the future. But yeah, I started a new role and I quit Data Dog and did a lot of life changes. I'm going to be uncomfortable. And also my channel is going to be a lot more focused on technical stuff now. I That's just my resolve. My metrics are down. My, my AdSense money is down. Views are down. Not really growing at the same rate, but I'm I'm fine with it that's i'm gonna make content i want to make and if the youtube gods so decide that this is the death of my channel so be it unfortunately but uh i really want to provide value actual value and not just redundant advice so that's what's going to be from now on uh you'll be seeing everything from aws to well mainly and only AWS for the time being. Some Kubernetes stuff. I'm actually gonna start making coding videos as well. So like coding videos related to cybersecurity. Like how do you actually use Python for cybersecurity? No one ever does that. Everyone's like, go learn Python for cybersecurity and what do they make? A keylogger. Okay, as a cybersecurity analyst or a security store responder, you're not using Python to write a keylogger, okay? Like, all right, I need to chill out. But yeah, I'm gonna be making like actual coding videos like for coding projects for cybersecurity that are not keyloggers or like port scanners, like actual quality content and quality things to actually help you do cybersecurity uh, defensive side, cloud security, so response, detection engineering, all of those things. So that's me. Yeah. <sighs> what else do I have to say? Yeah, it's been really great. Thank you guys for supporting me, you know, this whole time. We hit 30K recently. That's amazing, ridiculous. Hopefully we can hit 50K next year. That'll be really good. But yeah. That's me right now, you know. That's really all I have to say. I guess I have to do this disclaimer and everything. But if you're from Data Dog and you're watching this video, it's a pleasure working with you. And yeah, I'm looking forward to like all the cool things Data Dog releases in the future. I'm pretty sure they will release a bunch of really cool stuff. All right, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, maybe in the next year. But yeah, bye bye.